Welcome to the Game Changer Project. I'm here with Dennis Matthews today. Dennis is founder of The Salad Table. The Salad Table is a complete gardening system for, I mean, for seasoned growers, for farmers, but also for people who've never grown anything in their life, or even if you've tried growing and failed and you know you can't grow anything, you just don't have the green thumb, this is the system that will work for you. I'm super excited to find out more. Dennis Matthews. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time and I'm glad we could get connected. I've been super looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for having me. It's great. Man, such a pleasure. So tell me a little bit, I mean, really what I want to cover today is, is what is the salad table? How does it work? How can someone who's never grown anything before, never been as successful at gardening, how can they actually grow? And how can you promise that? Because some people can grow stuff and I know some people just can't, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, well, for a start, it's the uh, it's the fastest, easiest way to grow fresh herbs and veggies pretty much on the planet. Wow. Um, and I can back that up by, I think at the last count, there was about 30% of farmers in Australia who are currently converting to soilless culture, which the salad wow. table runs on, the process that the salad table runs on. Unreal. Well, I definitely want to hear more about that. Actually, before you, I want to dive into your story, find out a little bit about what you, your background and how you came to, to create this extraordinary process but before we dive into that what just tell me a little bit more about the salad table like what is it who's it for how's it how's it kind of what's it about okay so it's a complete growing system yeah so you can grow from seed or you can get your uh, seedlings from the hardware or the nursery uh -huh. pop them in and it'll grow now what we do we provide you with uh, the nutrient and the and the process the information the education on how to grow so at the end of the day okay. you will be growing fresh herbs and veggies year in year out so who's who's it for who would who would want to who would want a salad table well we have salad table owners all over australia now yep. and uh we have seasoned growers who have uh, you know the elderly who have had their mobility impaired impaired um and they they can't get around anymore so there's no bending on this on this particular system yep. uh, there's no weeds so huh. yeah no so weeds you're no doing weeds. gardening with no weeds yep uh, okay. I, I, i've been farming now for quite a few years and i've had yep. one weed on my farm in about eight years <laughs> And it didn't right. worry me at all. Fair enough. <laughs> Got it. And what can you grow with a salad table? Well, from anything from lettuce to cherry tomatoes to cucumber to coriander, parsley, you name it. When I first started out, the list was very short because yep. I'd, it was what I'd actually grown in okay. my time as a farmer. Um, but now, all my salad table owners come back to me all the time and they say, hey, look, I just grew this. It's like, well, I haven't even heard of that before. So my <laughs> list is absolutely massive of what you can grow now. Unreal. Well, let's go into, I mean, you mentioned um, your time as a farmer. You, you've got a farming background, you come from the land, or what's your, what's no, your background? No, no, pretty much this? I uh, woke up one day and said, oh, I'm going to start a farm. I've got a few acres in the Brisbane Valley, just uh, west of Brisbane there, yeah. and uh, decided I was going to create a farm. <laughs> That's pretty random. How'd that happen? Tell uh, me the story. Well, I was uh, I was working full time and uh, and I got put back to part time, so I needed to do something. So I needed to yeah. make a few decisions in life and uh, had had some spare land there and uh, just thought I'd uh, I'd whack a farm together. And, uh, how hard can it be, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, at the start, I thought it was going to be very difficult. You know, okay. there was a lot of a uh, lot of information to, to gather before I before I started. Yeah. Once I started farming, I worked out that the the parameters to grow are so wide. And anybody can do it. Uh huh. All right. So, how did you transition from? I mean, tell me, tell me about your farm. What did that? What, what did that look like? What was that? How was it going? What was happening? Yep. Okay. So I, uh, I, I pretty much put it together. Every nut, bolt, pipe, screw, and then uh, yeah, basically uh, started growing my seedlings. Whacked them in the channels so that the. Um, the, the channels are just uh, like on one and thirty-five slope. That okay. I, you know, that that was part of the. I guess the the education. Well, my education. Um, we, we then started growing, we then started uh, trialing different nutrients that were in the marketplace. Yep. Um, and I, yeah, I just, it, it just happened. It just happened. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was oh, quite right. like, the initial process was very hard, putting the whole thing together gotcha. and, and, and learning, learning yep. what I thought I had to learn. But in fact, what I had to learn was totally different than what I learned. It's always but, the way, isn't it? You've got this academic education yep. and then you actually do the job and you realise it's nothing to do with what you actually yep. learned. You've been but actually doing it. Those complex graphs in all the books that I read, yeah. the lettuce don't worry about the that. The lettuce don't. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. So on the, um, on the farm, it was, it was going all right? You were supplying produce and... Yeah, yeah. So Just the, for yourself or commercially? Commercially. Yep. So we'd supply to uh, pubs, clubs, restaurants and to the wholesale market. Yep. And they were going into the supermarkets. Okay. Yeah, um, so we dealt with the wholesalers, yep. we dealt with the the retailers, and it became quite difficult. 
Um, a lot of hard work. I was putting in massive amounts of work yeah. and not really reaping the rewards financially. Yeah. Uh, on a personal level, it was great. I'd, I'd sing to my plants. It was fantastic. Getting yeah, up when nice. the sun comes up, you know, just fantastic and an awesome place to be. Yeah. Um, but financially, it was just wearing and draining. Yeah, gotcha. So I decided something else had to be done. Well, tell me what happened. Well, I was, I was loading the back of the truck one Sunday afternoon. You were probably watching cricket and maybe having a barbecue. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I just thought, what am I doing here? Like this beautiful, fresh, crisp lettuce that I'm about to put into the back of the truck, drive all the way into the wholesalers, yeah. put in the fridge, get a complaint 10 days later that, hey, this is looking soft or whatever. We can't give you the money that we promised to give you. Um, and that was ultimately what was going to happen, and it did happen. I yeah. thought there has to be a better way because you as a consumer, yep. walking down the aisle at the supermarkets, expecting fresh produce, you weren't getting fresh produce. And the 50 cent lettuce that I was paid, yep. it, it, all of a sudden it's $3.50 on the shelf for you. And you yeah, put it in right. your fridge and then the next day it's, it's basically just stale. Yeah, right. And no good anymore. So I, I felt that that was, that was wrong. The, the consumer needed to be looked after better, and and it's just it wasn't in it, it wasn't in line with my my principles. Yeah. And uh, you know I was getting some fantastic produce, mm. and you were getting nothing, and Got you were it. paying paying. I lots. can just imagine there in the back of the truck loading it in, kissing this lettuce goodbye. You've been singing to it, watching it grow from a baby, and then you know that someone's going to pay, you know, six seven times more than what you're getting paid for it in a couple of weeks time when it's a substandard product and they're never going to experience it as a fresh, beautiful absolutely. produce that it could be. Yep, absolutely. It was so just what, I mean, in that moment, what did you decide to do about it and how, what happened? Well, I, I basically looked at my farm yep. and I thought, if I can cut chunks off this, not literally, yeah. but if I could take chunks of my farm and, and my knowledge and the information that I'd gathered and create a small personal system that anybody could fit in any home, yep. apartment, acreage we now have them on cattle stations i mean you know i'd never endeavored that would happen yeah i thought there has to be a way and i'd done all the hard yards mm. I'd, so now all i have to do is you know make a smaller scale version with maybe a few different models so that i can wow. you know into the you know, apartments on balconies etc yeah um so i i got to work I basically, that week I, uh, I was in my shed and I was cutting bits and pieces and gluing and you name Unreal. it and creating. Um, I then come up with my, my original prototype and, uh, and I gave it to my mum. Yeah. Mum had never grown anything in her life. I, I never grew up in gardens. Yep. And uh, I said, there you go, mum. I, I made up a one set of, uh, one page set of instructions for mum and I said, here you go. Just do see, it. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah. A couple of weeks later or a few weeks later, she actually had this beautiful vegetable garden going on in the backyard. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, to me, that was just proof that, hey, if mum can do it, who'd never had any experience, <laughs> yep. then anybody really can. Wow. So who, who have you got using salad tables now? Tell me, about some, tell me about some of the salad owners. And I want to get into a bit of like how that happened as well. But tell yeah, me about yeah. some of the owners. Well, I started out um, in, my, in my job as well. So, you know, also working outside. Yep. Um, I, I brought up the idea to a few people and a few people sort of jumped on board and decided they'd purchase one. One, one of my mates, he, he was one of my first salad table owners. Yep. And so he decided to get one. He took it home and his wife said, what have you done? Like, <laughs> what is what, this? Exactly. Like, what are you going to do with this? You can't grow. Yep. And she ended up eating the words and fresh <laughs> produce, of course. Uh, yeah, to this yeah. day, he uh, he still comes back. He still buys a nutrient all the time. He, he's created Garden of Eden pretty much. He's, wow. he's extended his garden massively now, so he is a, uh, he's a diehard gardener. Oh. And this guy seriously didn't have any green thumb whatsoever. Wow. What yeah. year was this? When, when you first decided and you got that first one to mum? Uh, that would have been approximately 2011. Okay. Yeah, 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 2012 right. I suppose. And then and then it was a slow it was a slow process from that point. I was also doing farmers markets. Okay. And I thought, well, what better place to put a couple of my my new products in there? So I sat so here's me. Well, you were selling produce at the farmers markets. Absolutely. Yep. So I don't know whether I was biting off my own my own fingers at the time. Yeah, I, sure. You know, I was I was selling a system that you could grow your own and I was selling the the produce that I was growing for you. Yep. But uh, yeah, they started going off like hotcakes. The, the interest was was quite good. And this is just a, a little farmer's market out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. So and that point, that's when I started to a little bit more, I, sp I spread my wings. Yeah. To say, yeah. yeah. What, what did that look like? Um, I got a website. Wow. So I just whack it on there. We're in business now. Absolutely. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I got a website yep. and uh, done a little bit of Facebook advertising, got the, uh, the word out to the masses and, mm -hmm. uh, and they, 
everyone started buying. So how many how many salad table owners do you have Australia wide now? We've probably got we've probably got about six hundred. Wow, yeah. really? And and the company we we kind of ramped up the company a couple of years ago. That's yeah. well, that's when I created a company. That's when I thought, well, this is a bit more than a. This yeah. isn't a hobby anymore. Yeah, yeah, and I need to do something about this. I need to get these to everyone. Okay. So what yeah. year was that? Uh, that would have been in 2016. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so there's a lot of time in between when I was just tinkering, yeah. perfecting, getting it right, learning. Yeah. yeah. Unreal. Well, I'd love to have a look at who the. Um, when we look at the salad table, what is it about that that sets it apart, or why does it work so well? Um, it's it's in the design. I mean, it's it's hydroponic, yeah. and the Romans 2,000 years ago. They used hydroponics, yeah, so really? you know that's that's just saying something, right? Okay. Um, and and the pro, the way that it works. So tell that, me about that. What, what, what was the Roman hydroponic system look like? Well, they they just used to they, they they cut into streams and then divert the water yep. um, onto paddocks, and they just use that fl that that water um, to to feed the crops. Yeah, okay. um, nutrient rich. I'm not quite sure what nutrients they added, but yeah, it was a, it was a hydroponic process that they actually yeah, right. used. Yeah, yeah, it's quite amazing. And uh, and in 1970, a guy called Dr. Alan Cooper um, in England, um, he decided that uh, we could you know use technology to to improve the techniques mm. from 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Hence, we come up with a uh, you know there, there's various channels you can use. You know, people use PVC. I definitely don't recommend using PVC if you're going to build your own. Yeah, I, I thought it was all PVC. What's... Toxins. Um, oh, you know, right. that, that creates toxins, and there's 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 uh, I guess there's no proof out there that anyone's ever died from you know PVC eating. poisoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about that, but that definitely is full of toxins. So we just don't yeah, know. Sure. Um, so the materials that we use, and it's all Australian made channel as well. Mm -hmm. It uh, it it's made from a um, a high density polyurethane, so it's all food quality, food grade. Um, and we even have a ten year guarantee on this stuff. That's how good it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a one of our channels, about 100 mil wide, so we, we put our seedlings into there. The water flows from a small pump, just a very, very energy efficient pump that sits in a, in a 60 litre tank underneath the, the, the unit, the table, mm -hmm. um, then gets pumped up, and by gravity it just flows down, on a little, like about a 1 in 35 level, just down slowly down through the table, yeah. so there's no dirt in it whatsoever, it's just purely water, yeah. and in that water is nutrient. Okay. And, and the nutrient that we use, and I've, I've come up with the, the best nutrient that you could possibly ever get, it's fantastic. You can grow absolutely anything. It doesn't matter if you put a tomato in there, a cucumber, a lettuce, anything. You just put it in there and it will grow. It runs through and then wow. the water recirculates and it actually comes back down into the bin and it gets reused over and over and over again. Yeah. It's about one-tenth the normal water use that you would um, get in a uh, in a normal soil garden. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So so part of part of my vision, part of my plan to create the farmer and everyone is there's a lot of things involved in it it's it's also you know to, to save water because we don't yeah. have like much water on the planet we've, we've only got we water doesn't we don't we can't produce water we've only got what we've got we can't we've make any more it's a closed loop system this Ab planet absolutely right. and we Most only of it's salty yep absolutely we only have access to a very small percentage of that yep. so we, we have to be careful and and the agricultural industry agricultural industry throughout the world uses I think it's yeah. like seventy percent of the available fresh water it's that inherently wasteful. It is, it is, yeah. and it just disappears again. So gotcha, and it's so, going to run run back out into the ocean. And absolutely. Now, now with the salad table, you reuse it. You just reuse that water. The plant uptakes that water, it grows. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's just it top it up every now and then. Just top it up every so now and then. What do you see? What are some of the biggest issues that the salad table solves? So obviously, I mean, this is a big one. Water over, you know, water usage through agriculture, which is just so wasteful. What What are the big issues? Does this solve for people? Well, well, some of the some of the big issues, I guess, are uh, costs. So, okay. you you go down the shops and you spend hundreds of dollars on groceries. I mean, it's just getting dearer and dearer. Um, yeah, and and particularly with your with your fresh herbs and veggies, your produce, um, it's all seasonal as well. So sometimes mm -hmm. you can't get that, yeah, you know, those cherry tomatoes because it's not in season. Yep. Uh, if you can, you pay a fortune for them. Sure. Um, with the salad table, you can grow them, and I mean, you can grow you can grow your cherry tomatoes somewhere in a protected environment in in a window inside your house you know what i mean so there's no yeah, there's right. there's no issue you, you can grow there's so much you can grow the the reason we don't see them on the shelves is because the farmers don't they won't grow mass quantities of lettuce in the summer because they, the losses are massive yeah, right. so much of it dies you know um, because it's out in the sun with the salad table you pop a lettuce in there you can grow them all year round i grow fancy oh, lettuce wow. all year round every every day of the year Unreal. yep um, that's just one of the issues. Now, another another problem that we have in yeah. the world is wastage. Okay. It's it's huge. The amount of produce that we waste, 
you know, for, for an example on my farm, if I had a blemish on, a, you know, say a bunch of parsley, they wouldn't accept it. The, the wholesalers mm. wouldn't accept it. But you, as a consumer, you would accept it any day of the week. It was beautiful. But the wholesalers, they just set up this, I don't know what it is, but they've just got these massive, massive standards that, that just create so much wastage. Mm. So you grow your own on the cellar table, you just eat it all, take yeah. it all. It doesn't matter yeah. if there's a little blemish on it, you'll still eat it and you'll yeah, still enjoy course. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's full of nutrition. Mm. Um, also, problems, we have massive problems with obesity and, and overweight. Um, and there's nothing more, well, there's, there's no greater incentive than having your fresh herbs and veggies right there, right at your back door. You imagine that, you bypass the fridge, leave those chocolates alone and yeah. just grab beautiful fresh produce wow. that's just so healthy it's so crisp it's just so tasty it's just amazing unreal mm. so i mean there's kind of i'm going to kind of divide this into a couple of categories there's, there's personal problems that it solves which sounds like it's around uh wastage in in the house because you're not having stuff in the fridge going off and chucking it out it's just right there it's growing it's going to last you can eat it you mentioned cost savings so i want to dive into that and have a look at what the financials of this are uh, and also just the health benefits of having fresh produce on hand. Have you found uh, salad table owners are actually starting to eat healthier just because it's right there and it's growing and it's available? Absolutely. You got some stories of that? Yeah, it, it's improved the lifestyle of not not only mum and dad, but the kids as well. Yeah, right. And, and you imagine there's... Give me an a, example. Who do you know? A, a kid puts a seed in a little grow cube and they watch that, they nurture it. You know, mum or dad teaches them how to do it or, you know, the, 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 the older... Or the, you know, teenagers, I guess they can, yeah. uh, they can just read the, the information, they can grow it themselves. And then they pop it into the, uh, so, you know, pop it into the salad table and they watch it grow, they watch it grow into this mature plant they can yeah. then eat. So they've got ownership. Yeah, nice. A and, you know, it, it just saves them eating all this. So this is how we get kids to eat salads and veggies. Get them to grow Let them themselves. watch it grow it. Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah creating interest. Well, as yeah. a parent, that's, that's yeah. huge. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I want one just on that. All right, so tell me about the money. How, how, how's it going to compare to just buying fruit and veggies in the, well, in the supermarket? Well, we've got a, so cost savings, massive. We've, we've got um, a 68 hole uh, model as well. And, uh, and I've done some calculations and you can work out, you can save $2,200 a year based on a four week growing cycle. So you pop in, your, pop in your seedlings in there based on a four week growing cycle from seedling yep. to eating. You can save over well, $2,200 a year. Unreal. That includes the running costs, the nutrient, the power. I mean, the, the power is very minimal. Yeah, it's, sure. a, it's a few cents a month pump. type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just, so, you know, you can make up, make up in savings in no time at all. Wow, so if I look at, um, you know, what I would spend on the produce that I could produce, that I could grow myself in my home, fresh, better, I'm still gonna save a couple of grand at the end of the year. Oh. Or Absolutely, more. and and each bunch. Oh, I don't yeah. know how, how much you pay for a, um, you know, a, a, a bunch of whatever it is in the shopping in the shopping center or the supermarket. Yeah. But you can grow your own for less than forty cents a bunch, and okay. we're not talking a small bunch. We're talking a big fresh bunch. That's so that, cool. Yeah, yeah. And when you, I mean, I know myself. When you when you got when you have fresh produce and you're making salads, so you're just chopping stuff off and growing it, and it's like, oh, you want to eat that, oh, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And with the salad table, it's, it's at your fingertips. There's plenty yeah. of it. Yep. So good. So good. All right, so that's any other personal problems that this kind of addresses or solves or that people are struggling with? I mean, there's oh. the weight, the health one. There's the financial aspect to it. And it sounds like you're ticking those boxes. Yes. There's a mobility issues that people may have as well. So it's very easy, oh, okay. very simple. People want to do their own yeah, gardening. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you are a gardener, um, yeah. you probably spend a lot of time in your garden. You can free up that time because with the salad table, there's much less maintenance. So that that quality yeah, right. time, you know, you can spend doing more important things in life, things that matter to you. Beautiful. Yeah, that's Rather just... than just pulling the weeds. Absolutely. Because there is none. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. All right. And then we can look at, so the other side of this is like bigger problems, world problems, environmental problems, you know, Australia problems, community problems. So what's some of the issues that um, that the salad table addresses and we might even do a little recap on this. So what's some of the issues that, um, you know, beyond me, myself and my family, when I look out to the community and, and, and nationally and even globally, what's some of the issues that, it, that people are facing that this really addresses? Well, I think by the year 2050, we're going to have something like oh, those nine or 10 billion people on the planet. That's, that's massive. Now, more mouths require more food. Sure. And, and at the moment, we, we depend on farming. Yeah. Um, but the problem is we get more people, take up more space, which equals 
less land to mm. grow the food. So we're, we, we, you know, we, we're creating, we're not creating, but we're, we're, a problem exists that we have to fix now. So if, if you grow your veggies and I grow my veggies and everyone else grows their own veggies in their own home, we don't, that, that's, a, that's part of the problem being solved, right? Mm. We don't have to worry about that in the future. That's just one issue. Like I said before, another one was that the, the water, we're, massive amounts of water. It's just disappearing and, uh, and we, it's very, very hard to come by. And unfortunately, agriculture is just costing so much in terms of water. Tell me more about that. What's the issue with, with agriculture and water? Because I mean, surely they've figured out efficient ways to water plants and get you know, mass agriculture farms working pretty efficiently. Yes, is that... it, it, I guess it is, it is being addressed. In terms of, like I said before, there's around about 30% of Australian farmers are converting to some sort of hydroponic oh, wow. or soilless culture yeah. um, system. Why so is that? It's just more efficient? It, it's much more efficient. It's much more productive. Okay. Yeah, very, very, uh, it's very productive. So in terms of, there's a, at, the, at the moment, there's a, uh, uh, in Dubai, I think it is, there's a, a vertical farm that's been built. Mm. And one acre, so the footprint of one acre is about equivalent to 400 acres of uh, land farming or Whoa. soil farming. It's amazing. And they're wow. using exactly the same process as we use on the solar table. Wow. And they've got no dirt over there. It's all no sand, dirt. right? That, so exactly. They've got right. to do yeah. something. Yeah, a lot of people and, uh, and not, much to, uh, yeah. not much to support the people in regards to food. Yeah, mm. wow. So it's a super efficient way to, to grow food. Absolutely. Even at large scale. But then if we can bring that into our homes, then we've got the benefits personally and we're, we're part of not, um, not using up extra land for agriculture and not using up the extra water yeah, for absolutely. agriculture as well, which is inherently ineffective. And another environment. And an environmental issue of um, transport. So we have. Okay. Yeah. Tell know, me about some that. of these farms are a long, long way away. So we've got uh, you know the, the massive transport costs. Yeah. The, uh, the the damage to the environment that that transport you know does contribute to. Sure. Um, it's right there with the solar table. Yeah, There's none of, of that. Of course. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Oh, that's so good. If you imagine all the all the trucks coming from the farming lands into the into the wholesale into the into warehouse. Yeah. Massive trucks yeah. full of stuff, day in day out, back and forth. Yeah. Burning all that diesel, pumping out all those, you know, burning all that fossil fuels and pumping out all the, all the carbon. Absolutely. It, it certainly addresses mm. that. This is really good. This is a really solid solution. And anyone can do this. Oh, absolutely. It's not like a, a, a difficult, futuristic, high tech. It's like it's, it's really simple and it's right there now. It's, it's very simple and it's very easy. Yeah. Exactly. And, and we all have the opportunity to, to, to play a part to... To help solve the bigger problems of the world, and so cool. and I think we need to go back a few hundred years and yep. start growing our our fresh herbs and veggies produce ourselves. Well, of course, that's not not a new idea, is it? You know, we look at yep. the history of humanity. Mass agriculture is a relatively new idea. Absolutely, and um, it's how we survive for millions of years. Yeah, wow. So I want to get really practical now. How, how do these salad tables come into being? Because this was just an idea in your mind, and you mucked around in the shed, and you made a few, and gave some to your mum and, you know, like, but now you've got a really, a, quite a streamlined process. So step me through that from start to finish. How's it, how's it all work? How do they, how do you make them? Well, first of all, we have to source the product. So, okay. so the, the components that go into the, into the product. Yep. Um, and we try and buy as many Australian made products as we possibly can. Brilliant. So for instance, the channel, it's, uh, it's made in Brisbane. It's made by a, a, a company who have been around the farming industry for years. It took many, many people, many, many years to come up with the exact design that this that this channel actually is now. Uh -huh. So it's fantastic. And it's used on hydroponic farms throughout the entire world. Okay. So, um, and then all the other components as well, where we can. So the, the plastic's them. important though, isn't it? Because it's, I mean, you mentioned not PVC. It's, so what? It's, it's a food grade material. So uh -huh. it's, it's very safe. You know, when you're growing your plants, you don't want the, the roots to be picking up any toxins. So it's oh, specifically designed for growing fresh herbs and veggies. That's, that's his sole purpose in life. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's, awesome. not, it's not something else. It doesn't perform any other role whatsoever. Yeah. And, and designed by professionals who have, you know, they've, they've created the exact shape that it needs to be, um, to be most productive, to be most efficient as Got well. Got it. So this is, this is the right, right stuff for the job. You're not, oh, you're not absolutely. cutting any corners It, it is the, the best. The best you can get in the entire world. Perfect. It's just amazing, yeah. And then we, uh, we get into the manufacturing process, which I do then um, on, on my premises. So it's in my factory. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, blood, sweat and tears um, quite often. I, you I roll your sleeves up and get absolutely, into it. Absolutely, yep, yep. So uh, we, we literally send our products out with fingerprints all over them. <laughs> literally. <you've> actually done it. <laughs> yep, yep, nice. yep. 
Um, and the, the manufacturing process is, uh, we, we've got quite a streamlined process mm -hmm. where we, uh, we put together um, all the components and we then, uh, we then package them up and, uh, and then send them out to our customers as part of the distribution process. Okay. Where we're online, yep. um, so it's quite easy. Everyone just jumps online and then uh, they'll purchase the product and we send it boxed, ready to go, complete. Very, very simple process. How did you come up with the design for the for the salad tables? How did you, because I mean, obviously it's one thing to have a farm where you've got acres of the stuff, but to have something, you know, on a balcony, on a porch, on a patio, in a backyard, you know, just on the corner near a flight of stairs, like this is, you know, super compact. Uh, and you can produce so much. Could, um, could people figure this out for themselves? I mean, if you're not coming from a farming background? Oh yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Trust me, I, I tried that many, many times. It took a lot to get the system that we have now. It took a lot. Yeah, it took right. a lot of time, it took a lot of money. It, uh, it did, I just didn't create this thing out of nothing. I created it out of a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. So uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of trials and errors. But, although it is a, a, a quite a simple um, product to look at yep. it's 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 quite nice especially when it's got all your beautiful herbs and veggies growing in there yeah, of course. Um, but there is a lot behind it yeah gotcha. you know you've got your angles you've got the uh, you've got the materials that you use you've got the lengths of channel mm. um, yeah yeah it's a uh, it's it, yeah, good luck <laughs> I love it because it's I mean anytime you look at a product uh, or any kind of design that's just so simple and so elegant you look at it and go oh, that thing's dead simple you know so much work and thought and planning and mistakes has gone into it. Because it's easy to make something complicated. It's easy to make something that's, that's difficult and convoluted, but to make something that's simple and elegant, which the salad table really is, it just shows how much you know, thought and forethought and design has gone into it. Oh, totally so agree. It's a real credit to you. And then we see that across every industry with every product. Stuff that's just beautiful and simple and elegant is the most difficult to create yeah. it's always the way yeah and and just so productive and so efficient and yeah it's, yeah it's amazing unreal very very proud of my uh my achievements so far um to 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 do what i've done you know it's just yeah. it's just amazing it's um it's quite humbling it's good so you've designed this amazing product you you source all the right materials all the best materials available you assemble it in your facilities then someone gets it and it's the most beautiful thing. What happens next? How is the, um, I want to get into how they actually get it and the sales process and how, they, how people can get this because I want one, I want to know. Um, but also how, you know, once they've actually got it, what, how, t step me through the whole process. What happens? Well, your salad table journey begins when you click, you know, I want a salad table right now. So, right. Yeah, and uh, we get notification that, hey, we have another salad table in our family. Yeah. And, uh, and then we begin the process of, uh, of putting your order together. Um, we'll also send you an email to say- I love your passion for this. Like we've got a new, we've got someone in our family. We've got a new, it's, it's a beautiful. It's a big family. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, so when, a, when another salad table owner comes on board, we, uh, we send them an email and say, hey, thanks for joining our team. We also direct them to our Facebook uh, group, the salad table um, group we have oh, as well. Wow. That's just amazing. This, that's just a, a rich source of information. So and not a whole community around oh, this. That's amazing. I, I didn't think that so many people would take this so well as yeah, and, wow. and change people's lives like it has it's just it's just fantastic so, so tell me about tell, give me some examples of that and we'll get back we'll come back to the other bit oh well well for instance i mean uh, i've got a one of my one of my salad table owners up in uh, up in townsville she hardly got any room so she decided to uh, she bought a salad table so yep. she obviously put a trust in me and handed over some hard-earned dollars and uh, and i sent her a salad table she now has it on a on a roof uh-huh yeah on a, on a carport roof yeah right so, yeah just apparently it keeps you know, there's less bugs for her and it's just, it's easy for her. It's just amazing. I mean, that's just one story. We've got people down south, Tasmania, um, who are uh, just passionate about their dirt gardening. And uh, a friend of mine bought one for his dad actually down there. And yeah. uh, he now wants to convert his entire backyard into a, uh, into one big cellar table. Whoa. So, yeah. And these stories are coming through all the time. It's just, it's just phenomenal. Wow. It's, so yeah. what's the conversation like and what's the community or the culture like on the, in the Facebook group? Oh, What's it, happening there? it's just amazing. And, and everybody is open and honest. Mm. You know, if someone has a problem with whatever it might be, you know, I'm using a little bit more water than I normally would have, or I've, you know, I've, all of a sudden I've got a, a leak. Someone will come on and say, hey, check for frogs. There might be a frog that's blocking your plumbing, mm. you know, something like that. So, and everyone else, they gather that information. So it's just yeah. a, it's just a community base of, of information. And the, the, the information doesn't come from me anymore. Some of it does. Well, I, need to, I step in when I need to step in or when I want to step in or when sure. I need to solve some problems. Yeah. Um, but 
it just seems that though everybody talks to everybody and and they have literally created one big family it's just it's oh, that's awesome so beautiful. yeah yeah. That is so beautiful. And, and my wife's really happy as well because uh, I was spending a lot of time answering individual questions. Yeah. And, and now the, the questions are being answered by others, by people who have the experience. So. And that's such a, I mean, such a credit to you, but also such a, a clear indication of a community that's actually working, like a thriving community where people actually care yeah. enough to share their experience yeah. and share what they've learned on their journey with, with newcomers. That's oh. so cool. Yeah, it's amazing. So you get the uh, right. so, but, so yep. putting yeah putting the putting the salad table together actually getting it and growing how's that what do we do okay we then box it up and we send it out so you know a few days all throughout Australia as well so we deliver all over Australia we have them in every state yep. um, you receive your uh, your package and uh, you you undo your package and here's the salad table almost complete uh -huh. so it's very simple it takes just a few minutes to put it together yeah right but, yeah we have little old ladies that have never, you know, they, they'd never walk into Ikea, um, <laughs> who, who actually sent me messages to say, wow, this is the best thing I've ever put together in my life. Wow. It's just amazing. So it's very simple to put together. Yep. And in the package, you get all well, the packages, you get absolutely everything you need to start growing. Okay. So um, part of that is the little grow cube. So you can instantly pop your little seeds into the, uh, into the grow cubes, pop them on the windowsill, um, comes with instructions, it tells you how to grow the seedlings, tells you how to, um, to, to, do the planting itself, how to fill the nutrient container, um, when to clean, how to clean. So all the information's provided there. So it's very simple. Wow. So within a few minutes, you're set up, you're ready to grow. Oh, wow. And with the seedling baskets that we have as well, you can just pop down to the local hardware, the nursery. You can chuck, like, wash the dirt off those dirt seedlings that you can buy <laughs> yep. and um, pop them in these little seedling baskets. And they're, they're specifically made for the salad table channel. Mm -hmm. Pop them in and uh, instantly growing. So like within half an hour of you receiving a package, you have a garden or you can potentially wow. have a garden that is now growing. Wow. It's just, just amazing. Real. And if I don't want to go to go to the nursery to get seedlings, I can grow straight from seeds as well, you said? Absolutely. And now we provide you with the seeds as well. Wow, so, so I don't even need to, I don't need, to, I don't need anything else. No. Just what's in the box and I can start growing. And just some water. But of course, yeah, you're of not course. going to ship the water. That doesn't we don't want to ship the water. <laughs> make any sense. <laughs> it becomes very costly. Do you need special water or just from the tap? Look, I recommend rainwater if okay. you can. But, you know, there's not many people that have access to rainwater. Sure. Um, and, yeah, yeah, it's just tap Straight water. out of the tap oh, and absolutely. away yeah. you go. Yeah, we have people that use dam water, that use ball water. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. Nah. The parameters, like I said before, they're so wide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after a couple of weeks, we'll also send you a, uh, an email to see how you're going, mm -hmm. just to make sure that you're uh, you actually know, you, did it. You're achieving your goals. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and some, with some more information. So we'll um, we do you know the occasional video on, um, on on how to harvest. So come time to harvest your beautiful, awesome, um, fresh herbs and veggies. We show you how to harvest, and then we show you how to replant again. Give me some tips on that. Send me through. What's what's the process for? Um, I mean, obviously, growing sounds really simple. Put the seed or the seedling in the in the grow cube or the basket. Yep. Put the stuff in, turn it on, let it do it. Yep. Is harvesting a trick or what's the what's the harvesting? Honest to God, it's the most easy harvesting process on the planet. Okay. Anything. So Tell you me about that. well, there's a number of ways you can harvest. I mean, if you if you feel like just a uh, a bit of a salad right now, you're not going to feed the family just for you before you head off to work or whatever it might be. Um, you can go out the back and you can just break some pieces off your, your fresh bunches, your lettuce, yep. you grab a few cherry tomatoes off the vine, whatever it might be, mm. pop it in your lunchbox, pop it in the salad, and you can leave most of that plant still within the system. Mm -hmm. um, it'll if keep you, growing? Absolutely, it'll keep growing, yeah. Most okay. varieties will just keep growing. Or you can take out the whole plant. Mm -hmm. um, the roots come out of, so it's very clean, there's no dirt on the roots. You can pop that just in your, in your crisper in the fridge. And that will last for ages. And what you've done, you've also you've you've freed up Filled another up space spot. so that you can then put another seedling in and that process just continues and it just goes over and over and over. So you wouldn't I mean you wouldn't come and do like a whole table full of lettuce all at once. You do a couple of lettuce and a few of this and a few you have so I've got a variety. So in a month's time I've got a whole bunch of you know, I've got a whole salad there, not just a table full of lettuce. There's a number of ways you can do it. Now okay, how do you, how do you suggest how now, do you now I, I preach that you, uh, you know, if you've got, say, a 36 hole salad table, if you put nine in this week, nine in next week and the week after and so on, after four uh, weeks, you can then harvest those nine and then start the process growing again. Now, I say that's what I preach. Now, I don't always practice what I preach <laughs> sometimes. So uh, It I, seems I, like a good idea. What it you, it what is you, a great idea. What do you actually do? It, well, you can do whatever you want. 
Okay. You, you seriously can do whatever you want. Now, a, a lot of people will do that. They have a very structured process in place mm -hmm. and, uh, and others will just go and put in whatever they've got at the time. They might have a couple of free holes every now and then. They'll go and pop something else in and yeah. just have a, a batch of, it doesn't matter. It you really can see when matter. something's ready. Yeah. And you oh, go, absolutely. I'm going to eat that tomorrow. Oh. That's going to be ready. I'm absolutely. Gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's no, there's no set way on how so you control cool. your garden. It's just, yeah. you, you just discover different ways to experiment. I tell my salad table owners all the way, all the time, that just experiment. You'll be amazed at what you can actually do. Because you can't really get it wrong by the sounds of it. Nah. It's going to grow. Nah. You're going to eat it. You're going to love it. Absolutely. Let's have a look at, um, I want to talk and get really practical again and go pricing and how to order. And because, I mean, this is it. I mean, I can't think of anything else that I would want to know or want to ask. Uh, how, do I, how do I buy one? Well, the, well, how much are they? Tell me about that. Well, it's a really simple process. Uh, yep. Price-wise, so we have, we have um, uh, a range of products, right? Um, so we have a 68 hole, a 52 with trellis. Mm -hmm. So the trellis is just amazing for growing all your vine crops, you know, your, your cucumbers and your tomatoes and yeah, your cherry tomatoes. Um, and then we have a 52 without the trellis. We also have a 36 hole with trellis and a 36 hole without. We have a 21 plant starter. So it's okay. smaller dimension so it's really good for people who have uh, you know very small balconies uh, high-rise apartments etc yeah. and then we've also got the vertical table and uh it's got absolutely it's, it's this got, one it's got 36 holes yep um and it it basically it's got a footprint of less than a meter wide and only a few centimeters deep yeah, so wow. you just pop that anywhere so that's awesome. that's the range um within that so range what's the, how big is the smallest what's the smallest amount of space that I'd need to get started? For the smallest one, it's about 150 centimetres or 1.5 metres. Like like that? Yep, and it's yep. about 60 centimetres wide, so it's a very small footprint. Kind of like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the it, biggest one? Uh, it's two metres long. Oh, okay, so, so Stephen, that's not big. That's all it is, two yep. metres, yeah, yeah. And okay. just productive, just, it's like having a massive dirt garden out the back, but yep. compacted into two metres by less than a metre. So good. Is there mm. any downside to this? I mean, it sounds, sounds amazing. I. I haven't found any downsides yet. And, I mean, look, you know, as a, as a business owner, you want to try and find the, you know, if there are any issues, are any problems. Yeah, sure. I yeah, haven't found them yet. No, no, no. All right, how much? So, so we get a, like a medium-sized one, not the biggest, not the smallest, but a, like, a, is it a 52 hole? 52 hole with trellis. Now, that, that's, yep. that's popular. Like, you park that one on your, on your balcony and you've got, you've got uh, the power to grow whatever you want. You know, you can awesome. grow your, your vine crops, you can grow your, your nice small fresh bunches, which, so the holes are closer together. Yeah. Physically, two metres long, less than a metre wide. I love your passion for this. Oh, it's so oh, cool. I love it. <laughs> How much is it? It's, uh, that one's five, uh, we, we're talking about um, 595 for that one, mm -hmm. normally. Is yep. that it? Yeah, 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 that's it. I was expecting like thousands. I said, it's like 600 bucks. Well, and I've got... The only thing in the thousands is what your saving is going to be. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Unreal. So now on top of that, obviously, I'm going to need to buy all the other bits and pieces that come with it. So what else am I going to need? Well, you're going to need grow cubes, but you don't need to buy them because we're going to give them to you as well. So, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, so we, we also, we're going to provide 216 grow cubes, um, which, is a, which is a box of cubes. How much are they worth? Oh, they're forty two ninety five normally. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as I spoke about before, the seedling baskets. So if you're uh, a little bit impatient and want to get the garden going straight away, just yep. pop them in these. We provide 50 of those. They're valued at uh, eighteen ninety five as well. Okay. So there's yeah. 45 there, another 20 bucks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else I'm going to need? Um, well, we, uh, we also chuck in the nutrient because um, plants like food and water. Of right. course. That's going to be important. Actually, we didn't do that too. Tell me a little bit more about the nutrient because oh. there's, I mean, if you go into the, you know, the nursery and there's so many different, you know, stuff for starting and stuff for growing and stuff for finishing and stuff for, you know, all the different plants have got all their own nutrients. Is that, is that a complicated, how do I, how do we navigate that? It, uh, to design the actual nutrient is complicated, but I've taken out all the guesswork. I've, I've created, I've, I've worked for years on the perfect nutrient. And when I say the perfect wow. nutrient, I mean for anything. So whatever you want to grow, all you need to use is the salad table nutrient. That's, that's all we have. We don't have wow. anything else in the range. So like you just said, you know, it's very confusing when you walk into a big shop, like what do I pick? What do I, yeah, what do I need for this stage of growth, etc. So are they doing that because that's what the plant needs or are they doing that so that they can maximise revenue from selling lots of different products for... You know, just to make more sales, um, it, or a it, bit of both. Yeah, it's got to be a bit of both for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, and I've just simplified the process because, you know, you don't want to have to go into a shop. I don't want to think about that. Exactly right. So I've taken all that uh, all that guesswork out for you. Yep. Yeah. And that that's in a like a big tub or a drum, or how's the nutrient come? Well, we provide you with a, a two liter nutrient pack. So we use we use a uh, an A and a B. 
Okay. Uh, we, do, we don't store them together. We mix them into the container when we grow, yep. but we don't store them together just for calcification purposes. Oh, it lasts gotcha. longer. It stores for years. It's yep. amazing. Um, so we have a two litre pack yep. and we also have a five litre pack and a 10 litre pack. Okay. Are two litres enough to get started? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that'll last you probably three months. Okay. How yeah. much is that? Uh, that's $35. Okay, cool. And we so chuck that in that as, well. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Unreal. You serious? All right. Yeah. What else do I need? Um, well, you, you probably need some information. Okay. Um, now, look, we, we provide a, a one-page set of instructions. It's that easy. But there's nothing like a, you know, uh, a discussion with someone who knows how to, to do it, you know. So I'm, uh, I'm also offering a 20-minute a uh, growth session one-on-one uh, -on -one, wow. uh, with either myself or one of my uh, awesome team members. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll teach you, mentor you, educate, listen, answer questions, whatever you want, we'll, uh, we'll spend that time with you. And it wow. doesn't just stop there. I mean, we don't. We're not going to offer this 20 minutes and that's it. We'll say goodbye and never going to see you again because, you know, obviously we've got our Facebook group. I've, yep. I've got a phone yep. up on that techno stuff. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just... Unreal. Yeah. And, uh, and at the same time as well, so delivery costs are quite massive these days. And we'll also, uh, yeah. most metro areas throughout Australia will also um, offer free delivery How as well. How much is that? What's that worth? Oh, around about 95 bucks. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So if we got, let me see if I've got all this. Buy my salad table, that's you know, close enough to 600 bucks, let's say, with the trellis and yep. all the things. Then, what was there? Grow cubes, yep. baskets, the nutrient. Our, our growth session. Growth session. You're going to get me some seeds as well, you mentioned. Oh, I'm going to chuck some seeds in for you too. Some so seeds and the, and the actual consult. Yeah. So there's, I mean, how much do the consults normally? A 20 minute consult? Oh, about 185, better? yeah. Okay, so I mean, that's, well, we're probably looking at a thousand bucks worth of yeah, easy. everything to get started. And you're chucking in $400 worth of all the extras, everything we're going to need. Yeah. What do you think? How do you, how's your business work? This is really, <laughs> this is... it runs on passion. I mean, yeah. I, I really want everyone to get themselves a solid. You're serious table. about yeah. this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. When yeah, we yeah. say not create not the around. farmer and everyone, yeah, yeah, you're not joking about yeah. that. You're not kidding. Well, I started my business with a vision, yeah, and uh, and that is create the farmer and everyone. So whatever it takes. Unreal. Mm. So generous. Mm. That's remarkable. All right. So I want to do this. How do I do it? What do oh, I do? Very simple process. So to uh, to get yourself a salad table, yeah. jump online thesaladtable.com.au. Perfect. Easy. And uh, you'll see the link to this special offer. Um, from that point, just yep. uh, chuck in your details. Um, very easy. Um, just follow, go with the flow, and then uh, from that point, we'll uh, we'll get your order. We'll organise a time when we can uh, when we can sit down and where we can uh, uh, phone up and have a little bit of a chat and yep. uh, and get you going. Get you going on your so on your growing cool. journey. So cool. Now, I mean, prices change over time and distance. So if someone's watching this, you know, in a few years' time or down the track when you know things things have changed they'll still be able to go to the saladtable.com.au and you've got specials on there and you're always you know putting your best absolutely best offers there. yeah look I'll, I'll, right. like so I this said, particular offer is not available there's going to be something amazing there yeah we will always have something out there to make it easier for people to okay. to become their own you know Perfect. farmer but yeah. if they go there and see this offer is still available then they can take advantage of that oh, straight away yes yes absolutely yeah we Unreal. can we... so say i go to saladtable.com.au see the specials, I go, wow, look, I'm getting like a thousand bucks worth of stuff for like $600 or whatever the, you know, whatever the, the deal is that's on the, yep. on the site. Um, I click it. What, what happens then? What's that? Step me through the process so I can imagine, yeah, right. I know what's going to happen. We get notification. Yep. And then we'll, uh, we'll start the, uh, the, the, the process or the order process. Okay. So, we'll, so I can put my credit card in and buy it. Like it's just like an online store. Oh, absolutely. That. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's cool. all online. So, uh, and we do have uh, Afterpay and zip pay as options as well. It sort of takes the heat off a bit. It's a, it's a payment plan, totally interest free for, for you. If you want to, you want to purchase one now. Serious? Yeah. Yeah. Totally interest free. So there's, there's no, there's no gimmicks. There's no nothing. It's just, um, it just makes it easier for you to. So if pay I haven't, I mean, it's a thousand bucks worth of stuff for 600 bucks. And if I haven't got the 600 bucks, I can do a payment plan and not pay any extra yeah. and still get the whole deal. Yep, and that's that's part of the option control on our website as well. So, all right, yeah. cool. We try that's... to make it as simple as possible. You're just not not letting money be the thing that stops people from doing this. No, you're no. just like no excuses. Anyone that wants one can Absolutely. find a way to make it yeah. happen. Everybody can make a change. All right, cool. So I, I either go on the payment plan or just buy it or whatever I do. What happens next? All right, we'll uh, we'll then ship the order. Um, in a couple of days, a few days, uh, and then it won't be long after that, and you'll then receive the order. 
so uh, cool. it's as easy as that. We'll also yep. send you your uh, confirmation email to, to welcome you to the Seller Table family. Nice. As and discussed. then I get access to the, the group as well? Absolutely. Yep. That's cool. Yep. Just log on there and, um, and we'll put you in the group. We'll put you in the family. Yep. And ask away. You can start asking questions before you even get your Seller Table. All right. So now imagine, like it's a few days later, I've got my Seller Table. I've got a box has turned up on my, at my front door. Then what? Um, basically, take it out of the box. Yep. Whack it together. It's as simple as that. Whack it together. <laughs> Um, Come on. No tools required. Serious? Yeah, yeah no, no tools. No glue, no screwing, no... no... No, no, nothing. I've done that. That's that's already been done in the workshop. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, and, and we'll uh, we'll even give you free, free fingerprints as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I get this thing out of the box, just plug it all together. Yep, so you uh, chuck it together as the as per the, uh, the, the short instructions there. Um, plug it in, fill it up with water, yep. turn on the switch, and off she goes. That's so cool. Mm. How long before I'm going to be seeing something I can eat? From the time you put your seedlings into the salad table, yep. you expect about a four-week turnaround. Is that it? Now, in summer, it's even shorter. I mean, I've grown lettuce in about two and a half weeks to, to edible stage in two and a half weeks. It's just amazing. In winter, you know, depending on your location as well, things sure. do grow a little bit slower. Um, so heat varieties. and sunshine is going to... Absolutely. Is, is yeah. Get better. Yeah, and, we, um, and, and I do mention in my instructions as well, just try, try and give it about four hours or more of sun. So four yeah. hours is a good number. Anything less, you'll still get absolutely brilliant quality produce but it might be a little bit more leggy but still absolutely amazing it's four, four hours to grow number. yeah yeah <sighs> man easy, easy so tell me what's what's it going to be like say i get my salad table whack it together yep <laughs> i love that <laughs> so put it all together put the seeds in of growing stuff it's four weeks time what's what's going to be my experience what's it like oh you'll be amazed honestly you'll be amazed you'll have you'll have created fresh food in yeah. your own home, on your own balcony, on your own high rise, yeah. um, you, you, you'll be amazed. You'll really be amazed. Kids are going to eat it because they've seen the whole process. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the family's going to love it because it's delicious. Yeah, and you're saving money. Saving it's money. Easy, it's easy. It's healthy. It's quick. It's healthy. It's just, wow. Mm. It's like party time then, right? I mean, we're going to want to invite everybody around, invite, invite the extended family over. Say, so look at this. And we serve the salad and say, by the way, check it out. We yeah. grew this. That happens. Right? I have those stories all the time. Salad, ta salad table parties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of your salad table owners um, bought one. I seen it. I went around their place for a barbecue. Please, can I have one? Yeah. It's like, yeah, all the time. It's, of course. Yeah, yeah. So it's great. That's perfect. Yeah. Tell me, what would, the, what, would the, what would the world be like? What kind of a world could we be living in if everybody did this? Oh, it'd be... You imagine that the health benefits for, for people um, growing their own so they don't have to worry. One of the bigger worries about chemicals on food, and that's what we get, mm. right? And, and it has to happen out in the fields because the bugs eat it as well. Um, imagine not having any chemicals or, or reduced chemical use throughout the world. That's just, that's just a massive thing for, for the environment. Yeah. Um, water savings, like we said before, you know, 10% of the water in this garden as opposed to the same size vegetable garden. So it's you know ten percent of the water. That's ninety percent saving. Ninety percent saving. Yeah, and and it's it's twice as productive. You know, and and the nutrition, the the, the quality of the nutrition in the plants is just amazing because they're fed exactly what they need. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's just it's phenomenal. Wow. And so it's, the world would be a much better place. So it's like a healthier, Health happier, health benefits, more happy, sustainable way of living, more time to do the things that matter. Yeah, of course. Mm. Dennis, this is, this is absolutely remarkable. I mean, you, I knew this was cool and I was excited to, to connect with you, but what you've just shared, I mean, it's absolutely remarkable. It's such a credit to you. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Just for anyone who's watching this, thesaladtable.com.au, check out the specials, go and get one. For anyone who wants a bit of a conversation or wants some more information, is there anywhere they can go to... You know, maybe I'm, I'm ready to go or maybe I'm not quite ready to buy yet. I just want to check it out, see some examples. Where's, where's the best? Have you got some other, some social or some other things happening? Um, we do. That's probably another good point. Yeah, too. like I said, look, everyone's welcome to, uh, to, to become a part of our Seller Table family. Even if you don't have a Seller Table, jump on the Facebook group. Oh, like, wow. I'm happy to have everybody there because one day you will become a Seller Table <laughs> owner. That's how good it is. Yeah, sure. um, and also on our website, we have contact details. So give me a call anytime and, yeah. uh, and we can discuss whatever you want to discuss. So generous. Mm. I'm so grateful. Dennis Matthews, thank you for your time. Thanks, Pat. Well, um, we'll speak to you again soon. Thanks very much for having me. It's been Pleasure. amazing.